you know, I'm amazed with these low light conditions that these fish are going right in on those rocks. It's kind of funny. Beautiful. I love the, it. The nice thing is that we don't have to use bait. You can just use a variety of artificials. A lot of people, I know Aaron that I know, say that you got to use like either minnows, you know, or crayfish in the fall. But I find that using the artificials, it works really well. Oh yeah. show you. It work excellent. On a new bait, the way we're rigging these. So, you know, you can literally take any tube. These are the Trigger X tubes. Now you'd think because it's so overcast, we have very low light going into the water, that bright colors would work well. But sometimes it's the opposite. It's the natural colors, and especially some of the darker colors that work really well. So I'm holding up probably the most popular colors when it comes to fishing, you know, smallmouth and largemouth bass with these tube jigs. And I'm gonna just show you the way you can rig them up with a normal hook, like a worm hook. And remember, this is a number five, so the hook itself has a little bit of weight to it. It's a little bit heavier than some of the light wire hooks, but you literally put it through the tube, about a quarter inch through the center, and then uh, slide the hook right in so that the step of the hook is in the tube. Now you can see that that hook is pretty well right at the end of the tube, and then you pierce the tube through both sides of it. If you want it to be totally what we call Texas rig, you would have it inside. So I'll show you this. So I've got it right now, and I'm gonna put the hook inside the tube. And if you're working heavy cover, you work the tube so that the hook is inside. When a fish clamps down on it, that tube is so thin that when you go to set the hook, you'll set the hook. But because we're fishing these rocks, if you look down rocks and a little bit of uh, weed cover, I'm actually putting the hook so it comes out the other side, just like that. And you can see that the hook is still pointing towards the tube. So most stuff is gonna go over it, but as soon as that bass pushes on it, it's gonna get caught. So a lot of people just use tube jig heads, whether they're the ones that are on the outside, like with the old gizzet style, or the ones that go inside, which is traditional. But you can also fish the shallow water and just use a straight tube like that, and it works really well.